diamonds. For centuries, these shimmering stones have captivated humanity. Their brilliance, their rarity, their sheer beauty. They are a symbol of love, of wealth, of power. From the depths of the earth they come, formed under unimaginable pressure over eons. Each diamond holds a mystery, a story waiting to be told. A story of deep time, of immense forces, of the incredible power of nature. And today we embark on a journey to uncover these treasures. Our destination, the Northern Territory of Australia, a land of stark beauty, of ancient landscapes, of hidden wonders. The Northern Territory is a place of extremes. The scorching sun beats down on rugged mountain ranges, while vast plains stretch as far as the eye can see. Here, beneath the surface, lies a secret, a treasure trove of minerals, including the coveted diamond. For millions of years, geological forces have been at work, shaping this land, creating its unique and diverse mineral wealth. Volcanoes erupted, their molten fury spewing forth diamonds from the Earth's mantle. Ancient seas deposited layers of sediment, locking away other precious minerals. Over time, erosion sculpted the landscape, revealing clues to the treasures beneath. Join me now as we delve into this geological wonderland to understand the origins of these sparkling wonders. To understand how diamonds form, we must journey back billions of years. Imagine, if you will, the Earth in its infancy, a seething molten mass constantly bombarded by asteroids. Deep within this inferno, under unimaginable pressure and heat, carbon atoms began to bond. Not in the simple arrangement of coal or graphite, but in a tightly packed, incredibly strong structure. This, my friends, is the genesis of a diamond. These diamonds, however, were not destined to remain trapped forever in the Earth's mantle. Volcanic eruptions, those fiery expressions of our planet's inner turmoil, provided an escape route. Molten rock, known as kimberlite magma, acted as a conveyor belt, carrying diamonds upwards at incredible speeds. Like precious seeds, these diamonds were scattered across the Earth's surface, waiting to be discovered. From mantle to surface, a diamond's journey. The journey from the Earth's mantle to the surface is a perilous one. Many diamonds fall victim to the immense forces at play, crushed or melted before they ever see the light of day. But some, protected within their kimberlite capsules, survive the journey, eventually cooling and solidifying in volcanic pipes. These pipes, often resembling giant carrots buried underground, are the primary source of diamonds in the Northern Territory. Over millions of years, erosion takes its toll. Wind and rain wear down the surrounding rock, gradually exposing the kimberlite pipes. Diamonds, now freed from their rocky prisons, are carried downstream by rivers and streams, eventually settling in alluvial deposits. It is in these deposits, often hidden in plain sight, that diamond hunters focus their efforts. The Argyle Mine, a diamond wonderland. Nowhere is the story of diamonds in the Northern Territory better told than at the Argyle Mine, Located in the remote East Kimberley region, Argyle is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. For decades, this mine was the world's largest producer of diamonds, yielding a dazzling array of colors and clarities. The Argyle mine is unique not only for its size, but also for the variety of diamonds it produces. While most diamonds are colorless or near colorless, Argyle is renowned for its rare pink, red, and champagne diamonds. These fancy colored diamonds formed under unique geological conditions are highly sought after by collectors and connoisseurs worldwide. Early prospectors, chasing dreams in the outback. For centuries, the Aboriginal people of the Northern Territory knew of the sparkling stones scattered across their land. They incorporated these firestones into their ceremonies and stories, recognizing their beauty and significance. But it wasn't until the late 19th century 
that the outside world began to take notice of the diamond potential of this vast and rugged territory. The discovery of gold in other parts of Australia sparked a rush of prospectors eager to strike it rich. Many ventured into the Northern Territory, their dreams fueled by tales of untold riches. These hardy souls braved harsh conditions, scorching heat and unforgiving terrain, panning in rivers and digging into the earth, searching for any glimmer of precious stones. Life as a prospector was far from glamorous. It was a life of solitude, of relentless toil, of constant uncertainty. Yet these pioneers played a crucial role in uncovering the mineral wealth of the Northern Territory, laying the groundwork for the discoveries to come. Their stories, often passed down through generations, are a testament to their resilience, their determination, and their enduring belief in the promise of striking it rich. Their legacy is etched in the land and in the hearts of those who continue to search for the precious gems of the Northern Territory. The year 1979 marked a pivotal moment in the history of diamond hunting in the Northern Territory. After years of exploration, a team of geologists stumbled upon a small, unassuming creek in the remote East Kimberley region. Little did they know that this seemingly insignificant waterway would lead them to one of the most significant diamond discoveries in history, the Argyle Pipe. The discovery of the Argyle Pipe sent shockwaves through the mining world. It wasn't just the size of the deposit that stunned experts. It was the unique nature of the diamonds themselves. Unlike other major diamond mines, which primarily yielded colorless or near-colorless stones, Argyle was a treasure chest of rare pink, red, and champagne diamonds. These highly sought-after fancy-colored diamonds quickly captured the imagination of collectors and jewelers around the globe. The Argyle discovery transformed the Northern Territory into a major player in the global diamond market. What was once a trickle of prospectors transformed into a flood of activity as mining companies and investors flocked to the region, eager to stake their claim in this newfound diamond haven. The remote East Kimberley region, once a sparsely populated outback outpost, was forever changed by the allure of these precious stones. The days of the lone prospector panning for diamonds are largely over. Today, unearthing these treasures is a highly sophisticated operation, employing cutting-edge technology and a deep understanding of geology. At the Argyle Mine, for instance, massive trucks rumble across the landscape, hauling tons of diamond-bearing ore from the depths of the open pit. The process begins with geologists carefully mapping the kimberlite pipes, using a combination of aerial surveys, geophysical techniques, and on-the-ground exploration. Once the extent of the deposit is determined, mining engineers design and implement extraction plans, ensuring minimal environmental impact while maximizing diamond recovery. The ore extracted from the earth undergoes a multi-stage crushing and processing procedure. Large rocks are gradually broken down and sophisticated sorting machines separate the diamond-rich material from the waste. This concentrate is then sent to specialised facilities where expert diamond sorters, using a combination of keen eyesight and advanced technologies, meticulously identify and separate the rough diamonds from the remaining rock. While diamonds may be the Northern Territory's most glamorous export, they're just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to mineral wealth. Beneath the rugged exterior of this ancient land lies a veritable treasure chest of resources, each with its own story to tell, each playing a vital role in the global economy. Take a look at this geological map. See those vibrant colors and intricate patterns. They represent a diverse range of minerals, from gold and copper to zinc and manganese all found in significant quantities within the Northern Territory's borders. These minerals are essential ingredients in countless products we use every day, from the smartphones in our pockets to the cars we drive to the buildings we live and work in. The Northern Territory's mineral wealth is a testament to its long and dynamic geological history, 
millions of years of volcanic activity, tectonic plate movement and erosion have created a complex tapestry of mineral deposits, each with its own unique formation process and characteristics. Unraveling these geological secrets is a constant challenge for geologists, but it's also incredibly rewarding, leading to new discoveries and a deeper understanding of our planet's hidden treasures. Long before diamonds captured the world's attention, it was gold that first drew prospectors to the Northern Territory, sparking a fever that continues to this day. The discovery of gold at Pine Creek in 1871 ignited a rush that transformed the region, drawing fortune seekers from far and wide, eager to strike it rich in this unforgiving land. Today, while the days of the lone prospector may be fading, gold mining remains a significant industry in the Northern Territory. Modern mines, equipped with advanced technology, extract vast quantities of gold from the earth, contributing significantly to the region's economy. But gold isn't just about economic prosperity. It's also a powerful symbol of our enduring fascination with precious metals, a fascination that has captivated humanity for millennia. Take a moment to appreciate the craftsmanship of this gold nugget. Feel its weight, its cool smoothness. This nugget, formed over millions of years deep within the earth, is a testament to the immense power of geological forces a tangible reminder of the hidden treasures that lie beneath our feet. And who knows what other golden secrets still await discovery in this vast and ancient land. The Northern Territory's mineral wealth extends far beyond diamonds and gold. It's a land painted with a vibrant palette of colors, each hue representing a different mineral, each telling a unique geological story. Legend has it that the Rainbow Serpent, a powerful creator spirit in Aboriginal mythology, was responsible for this colorful landscape, leaving behind a trail of precious stones as it moved across the land. Consider the brilliant blue of azurite, often found alongside the deep green of malachite. These copper carbonate minerals, formed by the weathering of copper deposits, are highly prized by collectors for their intense colors and intricate patterns. Then there's the fiery orange of crocoite, a lead chromate mineral found in only a handful of locations worldwide, including the Northern Territory's Adelaide River region. Its brilliant crystals, resembling flames frozen in time, are a testament to the beauty and diversity of the mineral kingdom. And let's not forget the striking purple of amethyst, a variety of quartz often used in jewelry and decorative objects. Its color, ranging from pale lilac to deep violet, is caused by trace amounts of iron and other impurities trapped within its crystal structure. These colorful minerals, each with its own unique properties and uses, are a testament to the Northern Territory's geological diversity and its vital role in supplying the world with essential resources. The Northern Territory's outback, a vast and unforgiving landscape, whispers with stories of diamond hunters, past and present. These are tales of grit and determination, of dreams realized and hopes dashed against the rocks of reality. Some are tales of extraordinary luck, of stumbling upon a fortune in the most unexpected of places. Others speak of years of backbreaking work, of following faint clues across miles of desolate terrain, always with the hope of striking it rich. One such story tells of a prospector named Mick, a grizzled veteran of the outback who spent decades searching for diamonds. Legend has it that Mick survived on wit, instinct, and a seemingly endless supply of tea brewed over an open fire. He'd regale anyone who'd listen with tales of close calls with crocodiles, encounters with Aboriginal elders who shared their knowledge of the land, and nights spent under a canopy of a million stars, dreaming of the day he'd unearth his fortune. Mick's perseverance, they say, was eventually rewarded. He discovered a small hidden deposit of diamonds, enough to secure his future and cement his place in local law. While the exact location of his find remains a closely guarded secret, Mick's story serves as a reminder that even in the harshest of environments, fortune can favor the bold and the persistent. The legend of the Pink Argyle, a diamond's legacy. Among the countless diamonds unearthed in the Northern Territory, one stands apart, its story woven into the fabric of the Argyle mine, 
the pink argyle. This extraordinary gem, a 12.76 carat pink diamond, is the largest of its kind ever discovered in Australia. Its discovery in 1989 sent ripples of excitement through the global diamond market, captivating collectors and jewelers with its rarity and beauty. The Pink Argyle's journey from the depths of the earth to the hands of collectors is a tale of chance, expertise, and the allure of the exceptional. It was discovered during a routine sorting process, a tiny spark of brilliance amidst a sea of other stones. The sorter who discovered it, a woman with years of experience, knew instantly that she had stumbled upon something extraordinary. Word of the Pink Argyle's discovery spread quickly, attracting the attention of diamond experts and connoisseurs worldwide. Its size, its intense color, its flawless clarity, all combined to make it one of the most valuable and sought-after diamonds in the world. After careful cutting and polishing, the Pink Argyle was unveiled to the public, a testament to the wonders hidden within the earth and the enduring human fascination with precious stones. The Allure Endures, a new generation of explorers. While the Argyle mine may be closed, the spirit of discovery that fueled its rise continues to burn brightly in the Northern Territory. A new generation of explorers, armed with cutting edge technology and a deep respect for the land, are venturing into the outback, seeking to unlock the secrets held within its ancient rocks. These modern day prospectors are driven by more than just the allure of riches. They're scientists, environmentalists, and adventurers drawn to the challenge of unraveling the geological mysteries of this vast and ancient land. They use drones to survey vast tracts of land, employ sophisticated geophysical techniques to peer beneath the surface, and analyze rock samples in state-of-the-art laboratories, searching for clues that might lead them to the next big discovery. Their work is a delicate balance between exploration and conservation. They understand that the Northern Territory's mineral wealth is a finite resource, and that its extraction must be done responsibly and sustainably. They work closely with Aboriginal communities, seeking their knowledge and permission before venturing onto their traditional lands. These young explorers represent the future of diamond hunting in the Northern Territory, a future where innovation, respect, and a deep appreciation for the land go hand in hand. Minerals and the Northern Territory's future. The Northern Territory, a land of ancient stories, holds precious secrets beneath its surface. Minerals, the building blocks of our world, lie hidden within its depths. From diamonds to gold, to gemstones and base metals, the Northern Territory's mineral wealth shapes its destiny. These resources provide jobs and spur economic growth. Mining towns have blossomed into vibrant communities. Revenues fund infrastructure and social programs. The mineral wealth is a source of pride and resilience. The mining industry embodies the spirit of the Northern Territory. From mine to masterpiece, the human touch. Behind every piece of mineral wealth lies a human story. The journey from mine to masterpiece is a testament to human ingenuity and artistry. Miners brave harsh conditions to extract raw materials that become objects of beauty and value. Diamond cutters meticulously shape rough stones into dazzling gems. Goldsmiths craft intricate pieces that will be treasured for generations. Engineers and designers develop innovative ways to utilize minerals. The human touch transforms minerals into objects that enrich our lives. The Northern Territory's timeless allure, a land of enduring wonder. As we conclude our journey through the Northern Territory's mineral wealth, we're left with a profound sense of awe and wonder. This ancient land, with its rugged landscapes, its hidden treasures and its resilient people, continues to captivate the imagination. It's a land where the past and present intertwine, where ancient geological forces meet modern human ingenuity and where the spirit of discovery burns as brightly as the diamonds unearthed from its depths. The Northern Territory's story is still being written. New discoveries await, new technologies will be developed, and new generations will be drawn to the allure of its hidden treasures. But one thing remains constant, the timeless beauty of this land, the enduring value of its resources, and the indomitable spirit of its people. As we move forward, it's essential that we approach the development of the Northern Territory's mineral wealth with respect, responsibility, and a deep appreciation for the delicate balance of nature.